Morning, y'all. It's Friday morning, about 10 o'clock, and we're starting out the ammo hunting week. Um, if y'all are new to the channel or just not familiar with these ammo hunting videos, I do my ammo hunting from Friday to Thursday, and then I wrap everything up on Thursday. I don't necessarily go every day, but I just that's that's the way I group it up. And then on Thursdays, I roll it all into one video. If y'all do enjoy these videos, if you would take a second to reach down, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload these new videos and you can check them out one of the main reasons i'm out this morning to be honest with you i need to go pick up a couple extra bags of ice melt uh we're supposed to get some weather this weekend so i want to i've got several bags though but i want to make sure i got enough so we're gonna head to the rural king and pick that up so since we're already down there we're gonna check out what the ammo's looking like uh last week they started out pretty slow down there but then towards the end of the week they ended up getting some good stuff in so hopefully this week will be just as good if not better so let's run on in there and see what's happening all right y'all they got us some new stuff and still got a lot of what they had the 380 1599 the 38 special still both of those you got some more blazer 9 for 32.99 the 100 round pack still got a box of that uh green tip got some nine millimeter ammo inks there along with the uh the uh, 40s 1899 still got the blazer 40 smith and wesson 2199 got several different kinds of shot shells in here they got some three and a half inch goose load some uh bb shots there 2199 still got some silver tip nine for 14.99 45 ammo ink they got some uh some more duck load stuff here two and three quarter number eight shot lead 8.99 got some 124 grain v crown 16.99 still got the 54r in here for 12.99 bunch more the arms core 22 still 379 and some more 12 gauge more three inch duck load uh more steel shot 22.99 on the browning so Definitely got some new stuff in here today. All right, y'all, made it out to Rural King. As y'all saw, they starting out the week good in there. Uh, they had a lot of what they had left from yesterday, and plus they got some new stuff in first thing this morning. So I definitely picked up a few things in there. While we out, I'm gonna run through the Dunham's and see what's going on in there. Like I mentioned in my last video, they had gotten a shipment of ammo in right when I was in there making my video. So I didn't have time to check it out and see what they got. So we'll go in there and see what they got going on. All right, y'all, as usual, we're just gonna touch on anything new we see. Looks like they got a little more 380 up there the winchester white box still got all the nine millimeter still got some more that we've got some more that global ordinance nine millimeter down there 23.99 actually got some 44 magnum in here i hadn't seen that in a long time seen any 44 magnum got the barnes vortex and they got the hornady custom there looks like they got some colt critical defense up there oh that's a very rare find right there that 44 magnum 17 HMR V Max. Y'all saw these in here last time. These M22 long rifles, the black copper plated nose. 90 bucks for a thousand on that. Rest of it looks like it's about the same as they've had. Well, they got some 22 250 there. The V Max for $35. There's 762, $11.99 as usual. Tons of 308 like they always have, but. I think the rest of it is pretty much the same as what they've had. Well, it looks like they got a couple box of 4570 government up here. 65 bucks. But yeah, the rest of it looks about what they've had in here. I think the the I think the the diamond in the rough for here right now for sure is that 44 mag and that that little bit of 45 colt all right y'all as y'all saw in the dunham's they got a few new things in there for sure most notably is that 44 magnum in the box of 45 cold that 44 magnum is incredibly rare right now i i can't tell you i can't even remember the last time i've seen 44 magnum locally it's been well over a year and, and that i've seen it anywhere locally so anyway while we out i'm gonna run in here to the walmart if they got anything decent in there i'll let y'all have a look if not we'll go back to the house and hit it another day morning y'all it's Thursday morning we're getting ready to go out and end the ammo hunt up just wanted to give y'all a quick shot here in the yard show y'all all the snow still left we still completely basically covered up out here so 
pretty nasty still i think they call them for a couple more showers out here uh like saturday sunday something like that around maybe friday night something like that but anyway let's head up to the royal king in this ammo hunting week out and see what they got going up there all right on our way but as y'all can see it's still it's still covered up everywhere basically um it didn't snow any anything past sunday but it's just been cold every day been freezing so you know ain't been nothing cleared out out here so anyway We'll head up here and see what Rural King's got for us today. I hadn't been out here since uh, Friday, uh, just cause of all the weather and everything. So I did get some good stuff Friday though, y'all see here at the end. Uh, but if you enjoy these videos, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload this stuff. I really do appreciate that. So let's run in here to the Rural King first and see what they got going. All right, they got several things in here. You got the Ammo Ink 9 for $23.99. I got a bunch more aluminum blazer, $18.99. Look like the wolf has gone back up to $12.99. They can't make their mind up on that. That's some 855s, $13.99, same 193s. Still got some 762 by 54, $12.99. 200 round of those M855s, 140 again. Like got some number eight light target load here, 999 on that, 12 gauge. Got the 380 ammo ink still, $15.99. Bunch of the 38 still, 1697. Still got one box of the 38 special lead round nose, 28 bucks. Some 45 auto ammo ink. The bulk pack thousand rounds of 855s here for 469.99. That's not terrible at all right now. That's the best price. Better than buying those uh, singles over there on the other side. 100 round packs of Winchester 9, $36. That's about three, four dollars higher than the uh, brown or than the Blazers are. 40s, 47.99 for 100 round packs. And they got some 45 ACP, 56 bucks for 100 round packs. So they definitely got several new things in here for sure if you're looking for some stuff. All right, y'all, a few decent new things in the Royal King in there. Um, I didn't get anything out of there today. There's just nothing in there that I want or needed in there or that's at a good enough deal for me to pick it up. But I'm gonna head down here to the local shop and run in there. I know there's a thing or two that I definitely wanna pick up in there for testing purposes. Uh, if they got anything different from last week, I'll let y'all have a look. If not, I'll see y'all back at the house. All right, y'all, made it back to the house. Had a pretty good week this week, to be honest with you. Didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but I found some really good stuff this week that I hadn't seen in a very long time. And y'all probably already know what it is by the looks of the yellow bag over there. Before we get into it, if y'all would take a second, reach down and hit that thumbs up button if you do enjoy the videos. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon also while you're down there so you can get notified when I upload these videos. I really appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get on into it. So we'll get Rule King out the way first as always we picked up the obligatory nine millimeter this week y'all saw again they got another load of this blazer 100 round cases of uh just 115 full metal jacket and these are 32.99 a box so good price on that right now so every time i see that to be honest with you i'm gonna pick up a couple boxes because that's the cheapest i've seen it my you know my local shops got it uh for 16.99 for 50 so this is a dollar cheaper when you, you get down to the figure and per round so uh got two boxes of those so 200 rounds of the blazer nine millimeter they also got another batch of my good old sig v crown 124 grain jacketed hollow points y'all know uh, if y'all seen my last gel testing video y'all know i love these rounds these things perform absolutely fantastic these are in my top three favorite defensive rounds of all in nine millimeter so i got two boxes of those those were 16.99 so that's a really good price on these for a really really good defensive round so two boxes of the sig v crowns and then last but not least they had some 45 auto ammo ink uh jacket of the hollow points 235 grain 45 auto um as y'all know i've tested quite a few of these ammo ink hollow points i've done the nines uh i've done the 38 specials i still have the 380 that i need to do and i didn't have any of these 45s at all so i got a box of these this was the first time i'd seen these 45s in there so got one box of those those were 18 dollars and 97 cents a box so if they work out decent that's a pretty good price for uh 45 acp hollow points so got one box of those and then probably the surprise of the week was at dunham's as y'all see i got the yellow dunham's bag here and y'all saw what they had in there first of all they had one box left of these 45 colt critical defenses in there 185 grain 45 colt with the ftx projectile in it 
um, nickel plated so some really nice 45 colt rounds i've got some basic uh cowboy rounds and some other basic cellier and below um jacketed hollow points but that, that's the only 45 colts i've got just those two kind uh, i've got some other deep curls that i need to get loaded up but i didn't have any of these at all these ftx critical defense so 185 grain 45 colt i could not help but pick that up in there these definitely weren't cheap 29.99 for this box of 20 critical defense so but and like i say 45 colts pretty rare right now and i don't have any of these at all so that ought to make for some good testing so i got the only box of those they had and then honestly one of the finds of the week was some 44 magnum i have not seen 44 magnum locally in in a, over a year like i said it's been well over a year since i've seen any 44 magnum at all locally you can get it online uh but it's it's right expensive and this was expensive especially being dunham's but that being said it's the hornady custom 44 mag 240 grain xtp is what these things are loaded with um, now these things were $26.99 a box, so $26.99 for a 20 round box of 44 mag XTP. That's definitely high, but like I say, I have not seen this stuff in forever, so I was not going to go by without picking some up. So got two boxes of those. And then probably even better find in there at Dunham's also, they had these 44 Magnums. They had the Barnes Vortex 225 grain solid copper expanding hollow points. These should be some really, really good rounds to do some testing on. Uh, these so I'm a big fan of solid copper expanders, so these things look absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to test these things out now. Again, these were definitely not cheap. These things were... $28.99 per box. So $28.99 for a box of 20. Uh, I got two boxes of them. I just could not pass these up. I haven't seen these in... I don't even know if I've seen these locally ever, these Barnes ones. So absolutely fantastic find in there. Uh, Y'all know how I feel about Dunham's and I rarely buy anything out of there, but I could not let that go without getting those 44 Magnums. And then staying along the same lines, I found another crazy find in my local shop today. Went in there and lo and behold, they had 44 specials in there, y'all. I mean, it was it was a week of stuff, 44, that I have not seen in a year. I have not seen this stuff in, in well over a year, y'all. 44 special they had in there. The Hornady Critical Defense FTX in 44 special. The 165 grain projectile. Uh, 44 special I have not seen in an extremely long time. I mean, a very, very long time. So that worked out absolutely perfect. I picked up the 44 mags at Dunham and the 44 specials at my local shop so that'll be a good test i hadn't done hardly any 44 magnum testing so that'll be a good test the 44 mag against the 44 special ought to make for a good jelly test and then last but not least i had something sent to me out there by tom over at the turkey's opinion youtube channel he just started up a gun youtube channel i think of a little over a month ago maybe a month or so ago so y'all go check his channel out he sent me some colt branded ammunition some 45 acp and some nine millimeter both of these are oxide coated solid copper expanding hollow points colt branded they look extremely similar to those barnes vortex so i don't know what kind of projectiles they are they may be the barnes they may be something else uh but this colt head stamp on the brass uh, i don't think they even make these anymore matter of fact i'm pretty sure they don't so this is kind of obsolete ammo but he was curious to, to see a jelly test down on them so he sent me 10 45 acp uh, 185 grain and 10 9 millimeter 115 grain so this ought to make for some very interesting tests also i'll probably do these out of a couple different length barrels so tom i appreciate it brother big time thank you very much for sending these i mentioned he does uh he does some leather working too he makes some belts and he may make some other stuff i know he does belts i showed those on my uh, live stream the other night if y'all hadn't seen that check that out but really appreciate him sending those to me and that was the haul for the week y'all like i say not a really huge quantity of stuff but some really rare finds and some really good deals all this stuff at rural king was really good deals uh this 44 
44 special and 44 magnum definitely not cheap prices at all but extremely rare for me to find here locally uh, you can order it online i think maybe for a little bit less even online but after the shipping of course it's probably about the same uh, just depending on what kind of projectile you order but i could not pass that up without picking up that 44 magnum and that 44 special so y'all let me know what y'all think about the pickups this week let me know what's happening in y'all's area what are y'all seeing when's the last time you've seen any 44 magnum or 44 special let me know down in the comments on that if you enjoyed the video like i say reach down hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload new stuff check out my amazon affiliate storefront link down in the description like i always ask if you shop through amazon anyway hit that link up first uh go through amazon from there just like normal don't cost you any extra time any extra money and anything you buy anywhere on amazon after going through that link first we get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really appreciate that appreciate all my range gang members who reached down and hit that join button that really helps so i thank y'all for that appreciate each and every single one of y'all who watches my videos thumbs up subscribes hit that bell notification icon and like i say leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about the pickups this week let me know what's going on in y'all's area price wise availability wise what are y'all seeing out there new stuff are you picking stuff up are you kind of at a standstill let me know what's going on down in the comments got a lot of good stuff coming y'all's way a bunch of jelly tests several new tools that i've picked up for the channel some new targeting stuff that ought to be some fun videos so y'all make sure you stay tuned for that in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon